Okay, good afternoon everybody. My name is Robin French. I'm going to be going over 90 different abbreviations with you guys today. And hopefully my camera operator is going to be panning on these words for y'all to write them down. These are the abbreviations and uh, as we go through them I'm going to say exactly what they mean. All right, the first column is appropriate for physical assessment. These abbreviations are necessary when we learn physical assessment to be able to talk about specific areas of the body. The first one up there in the left-hand column is BLE, stands for bilateral lower extremities. All right, next is bilateral upper extremities. The next two we have refers to just upper extremities and just lower extremities. The next few, right upper extremity, right lower extremity, left upper extremity, and left lower extremity. The next few, we go into the abdominal quadrants. We're looking at right upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. After that, we're gonna be looking at lung lobes. If you guys recall, there's three lobes on the right side, but only two lobes on the left. All right, you can remember that by remembering that the heart is on the left side, therefore there's not room on the left lung for there to be three lobes. So these specifically refer to right upper lobe, right middle lobe, right lower lobe, and then the ones that are on the left are left upper lobe, left lower lobe. Hope that makes sense. Hope everybody's with me. Continuing on, the BKA and the AKA go together. That's bilateral, excuse me, below the knee amputation and above the knee amputation. The A and P that are circled, the A stands for anterior, the P stands for posterior, the A slash P refers to anterior and posterior both. Moving on to the third column, we have PROM and AROM. PROM is passive range of motion. A is active range of motion. Within normal limits is next. Cardiovascular is CV. HTN and DM are hypertension and diabetes mellitus. Moving on down, GI is gastrointestinal and GU is genitourinary. Again, those are body systems. CHF stands for congestive heart failure. Moving on to the fourth column, we have PERLA. PERLA stands for pupils equal round and reactive to light and accommodation. We'll be learning more specifically about PERLA in 104 lab. UOP stands for urine output. S slash SX is signs and symptoms. R slash O is rule out. And C slash O is complain of. Moving on down, STAT stands for uh, immediately or right now. UA is urinalysis. UA with CNS stands for urinalysis with a culture and sensitivity. DOB is date of birth. Moving on to the fifth column, we have TX, which is treatment. DX is diagnosis. Rx is prescription. HX stands for history. CAD is coronary artery disease. CABG is a surgical procedure standing for coronary artery bypass graft, commonly called a cabbage. CX stands for culture. ABX stands for antibiotics. Moving on to the next column, N slash B slash D stands for nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. OOB is out of bed. Ad lib means as desired by the patient. NKA and NK 
NKDA go together. NKA is no known allergies and NKDA is no known drug allergies. NKA specifically refers to environmental or food allergies as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Where NKDA specifically refers to drug allergies. Moving on down the list, CXR is chest x-ray. PRN stands for as needed. HS is hour of sleep. IM is intramuscular. Moving on down, IV is intravenous. BID is twice a day. TID is three times a day. QID is four times a day. QDAY is QD. Next is milligram. MCG is microgram. And then we have pound and kilogram lining out the bottom of the list. <coughs> AC and PC stand for before meals and after meals, respectively. PR is per rectum. SL is sublingual. The C with the line over it is with. The S with the line above it is without. The A with the line is before and the P with the line is after. SOB is short of breath. Moving on to the second to the last column there, the X with the line over it is except, y'all. E-X-C-E-P-T as in an exception. DNR stands for do not resuscitate. The triangle refers to change or delta. I slash zero or I slash O is intake and output. Next we have DC, little DC and big DC. The small DC is discontinue. The large DC is discharge. FXN refers to function. GTTS is drops. Then we move on to the last column. FSBS refers to finger stick blood sugar. FBS stands for fasting blood sugar. A fasting blood sugar has to be within uh, fasting for eight hours for it to be considered fasting. BG or BS refers to blood glucose or blood sugar. The next three, OD, OS, and OU, uh, are our abbreviations for eyes. They have gotten rid of those in the hospital, guys, but I still see that noted in long-term care charting. The OU is for right eye, the OS is for left eye, and the OU refers to both eyes. The ESRD is end-stage renal disease. This is what we call our folks that are on dialysis. They have end-stage renal disease. And NPO is nothing by mouth. My current plan is that weekly, for three weeks, we will have a quiz on, in lab day. And your quiz will be on 20 of these words. All right, so you'll have 20 words each week for a total of 60 of about 85 or 90 of these words. So good luck learning them. And once you learn them, you will utilize them an awful lot and they will also help you in your note taking for class. Uh, it's our own little set of um, abbreviations and shorthand, so to speak. So I think once you learn these, you will find that they're of uh, a lot of use for you. Good luck with that.